Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Sagittarius for July 2009. And this also applies if you have a Sagittarius ascendant. So, you Sagittarians, an awful lot is still going on in your work, finance and career area. This, this is the backdrop of almost this entire year, a hell of a lot of forecast, a hell of a lot of focus going into this area. Now you're going to be getting some help this month, particularly in the work area from Venus, Mars and Mercury, particularly for the first uh, first week, 12 days of the month, where you're going to feel as though you've got some more energy to put into that work area, where as well with Venus there, particularly for the first week, you're going to feel there's more harmony in the work area. If there's been some discord, it should be easier to get approval and to create some agreement there and make the most of the first few days of the month for that. Because then you've got Mars on its own there and that can often be quite assertive, but it's a good time for you really to be quite assertive and go for what you want in your work area, Sagittarius. Then after that, we've got Mars, Venus and Mercury as well in the seventh house. So there's going to be a lot of focus this month for you, Sagittarius, on your one-to-one -one relationships. Very much possibly business, intimate, just a friend on a one-to-one -one relationship. But basically your close one-to-ones are going to be highlighted this month. And with Venus there, you could well, if you're a single Sagittarian, you could well draw somebody into your life in a romantic way. And also with Mars there, you in fact will find yourself, well, being a fire sign, you don't mind going for what you want, but you may find yourself assertively going for somebody and letting them know that you really like them if you're in that position. But as well, it's a, just a good time to have some harmony with people who you're working with or who you're in an intimate relationship with, and also to be actually putting some time and energy into that relationship. This is a fortunate time and a good time to be doing it. We've got the sun until the 23rd of the month, along with Mercury uh, until a little sooner in the month, in your eighth house. So Sagittarians, this is really a month to look at any joint finances you've got, any deals, any contracts, any insurance policies, pensions, banking situation, anything involved in this area. It's a time to shine a light on it. It's a time to look at what's working for you, what needs to change, what's too speculative. There's a tendency with Sagittarius, you are the extravagant one, most of you, and this may be a time to look at, well, am I being too extravagant here? Do I really need all this cover? Do I really need all this? And also to look at any areas where you're perhaps being too speculative and risking too much. This is, with the Sun Mercury there, it's time to get your agreements tied up. It's time to be really clear with other people and also with financial institutions, any financial institutions with whom you've got dealings with. It's time to make sure that you're really happy with those dealings and that you're getting the kind of service and products that you need. If there's anything that you don't understand, make sure that you get out of it and you don't get involved with it. You really need to understand that anything financial right now, I'm putting on my financial hat that you have these transits in this eighth house and I feel it's an important thing to mention now. Anything you don't understand, don't go into. It's very important. After the 23rd of the month, we've got the sun in your ninth house, sun mercury in your ninth house. This is gonna feel like a little bit freer. You're gonna feel as though, oh, well, maybe I'm gonna take a trip some of you are going to want to get away. Some of you are going to want to maybe develop your spiritual path. And for you Sagittarians, that's your natural path anyway. It's natural. You're drawn to understanding why we're here, what the world is about, to expanding your horizons, to understanding the world and space and planets and beyond. This is a great time towards the end of the month to be looking at that within yourself and maybe looking into some new fields, looking into fields that you haven't yet looked at and exploring those because it will be an exciting time and I think you're going to enjoy that very much. With Saturn in your 10th house, yes, it's a serious time in your career. 
It's a serious time. Some of you will have been made redundant. I'm sorry for that, but it will also be opening a door for something new for you to come in. You must sort your finances this month. Very important to get them sorted to the best of your ability. And that Saturn in your 10th house, for those of you that have been working very hard on your career, a lot should be coming to fruition for you now. So there you have it, Sagittarius. Some good focus on your work area, certainly on your one-on-one -on -one relationships. Take some time out and really look after those, particularly for the first two weeks of the month. And for the single ones, someone new could be coming in for you. And focus on your finances. And also after that, when you've done all that, take a little trip, have some time out, either a physical trip or a trip in your mind about learning something about the world. So there you have it, Sagittarius. I wish you a great month and I thank you for listening. See you soon.